when I deal with questions of race and religion, I'm often trying to have us uh, unveil the uninterrogated, uh, the invisible manifestations of racism and sexism in the work that I do around black women's bodies and the womanist theology that I do. What gets left unsaid because it's uh, normalized, the normalized expressions of racism that are so everyday, so routine that we barely even notice them. So here's an example. One way to think about this is the way in which we envision different political ideological responses to the uh, issues of, of racism and sexism. And the theological input is going to show that actually these ideologies are uh, often striving towards some sense of human progress, uh, as if, there's some, an, if we worked hard enough that historical progress will show human achievement will get us to where we need to arrive. Uh, instead, theology is suggesting things we don't, we haven't yet thought of. Uh, these are ways in which we're incorporating imagination and ingenuity, the womanist virtue ethics uh, that talk about um, how your powerlessness uh, really compels you to use your imagination against, uh, against oppressive forces.